Today, it's time for another martial arts video. This time, we're going to rank the hardest punchers in MMA history. These fighters are some of the most feared sports strikers and could end a fight with one punch. So sit back and enjoy as I count down these massive hitters. First up is Conor McGregor, one of the hardest hitters in MMA history. Conor McGregor hails from Dublin, Ireland, a former professional boxer. McGregor began his MMA career in 2008 and quickly rose to prominence. He is the only fighter in UFC history to simultaneously hold two titles in two weight classes. In 2015, he was ranked as the number one featherweight fighter in the world by Sherdog. He possesses power in both his hands and his feet. In the 2016 fight against Eddie Alvarez, McGregor landed a record number of significant strikes. His knockout of Jose Aldo in just 13 seconds is one of the most famous KOs in MMA history. Thanks to his unique combination of power and accuracy, McGregor is one of the most feared strikers in the sport. His opponents often seem hesitant to engage with them, knowing that one clean shot could end the fight. Again, McGregor has shown that he can end a fight with just one punch. Next is Francis Ngannou. Francis Ngannou is a French professional mixed martial artist who competes in the heavyweight division of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. He is one of the top-ranked heavyweights in the UFC. Ngannou was born and raised in Cameroon. He began his martial arts training in boxing at the age of 22. In 2013, he moved to Paris, France, where he began training in mixed martial arts. Nagano made his professional MMA debut in December 2014. He amassed a 5-0 with five first-round knockout victories before signing with the UFC in 2015. Naganu made his UFC debut on December 19, 2015, defeating Luis Henrique Barbosa de Oliveira via TKO in the second round. He has since defeated notable UFC heavyweights such as Alistair Overeem, Curtis Blades, and Cain Velasquez. Naganu is widely regarded as one of the hardest hitters in MMA history. He holds the UFC record for the most powerful punch ever recorded, with a knockout power of 129,161 units. In December 2018, Naganu was ranked as the number 14th best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the UFC. Naganu has shown interest in pursuing a career in acting after his MMA career. In 2019, he made a cameo appearance in the Marvel Studios film Avengers Endgame. Next, Chuck Liddell. Chuck Liddell is a retired American mixed martial artist and former UFC light heavyweight champion. He has an extensive striking background in Kempo, karate, and kickboxing, as well as a grappling background in collegiate wrestling and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. He is one of UFC's all-time greatest knockout artists, with 13 of his 21 wins coming by knockout. Liddell was indicted into the UFC Hall of Fame in 2009. Now for Amanda Nunes. Amanda Nunes is the current UFC women's bantamweight champion and a two-time former UFC women's featherweight champion. She is widely considered one of the greatest female mixed martial artists. Nunes is also one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the UFC women's division and one of the best in the UFC overall. No doubt, Amanda Nunes is one of the hardest hitters in MMA history. She has shown time and again that she has the power to end a fight with one shot. Her knockout victory over Ronda Rousey is one of the most memorable moments in UFC history. Nunes is a true champion and one of the pound-for-pound -pound best fighters in the world today. Next up is Dan Henderson. Dan Henderson is an MMA legend. He's fought some of the most memorable UFC title fights in history and he's still going strong today. He's also one of the hardest hitters in the sport. Henderson has KO'd some of the biggest names in MMA, including Fedor Melienko, Mauricio Rua, and Michael Bisping. He's also knocked out former UFC champions like Vitor Belfort and Rich Franklin. Henderson is a true knockout artist and one of the hardest punchers in MMA history. Next, Max Holloway. Max Holloway is one of the hardest punchers in MMA history. The Hawaiian has some of the best knockout finishes in UFC featherweight history. Holloway has finished 10 of his 23 wins by knockout. Some of Holloway's most notable victims include Ricardo Lamas, Cub Swanson, and Jose Aldo. In a recent interview, Holloway said he believes he hits harder than UFC lightweight champion Khabib Nurmagomedov. There's no doubt that Holloway is one of the most dangerous strikers in MMA today. His combination of speed, power, and accuracy makes him a nightmare for any opponent. Let's discuss Mark Hunt. Mark Hunt is a New Zealand-born Australian professional mixed martial artist and former kickboxer living in Sydney. He is the former interim UFC heavyweight champion. He is well known for his powerful punching power and aggressive fighting style. In the MMA community, he is also known for his legendary heavyweight fights 
against Rodrigo Nogueira, Fabricio Werdum, Alistair Overeem, and Antonio Silva. Hunt was born in South Auckland, New Zealand on March 23, 1974. Hunt was a heavyweight kickboxer before transitioning to MMA. He is a former K1 World Grand Prix Tournament champion, winning the 2001 K1 World Grand Prix. He has also fought in Pride, Dream, and IAFC. His MMA career began in 2004, and he has since competed for the UFC, Super Fight League, and Inoki Genome Federation. Hunt is one of the hardest hitters in MMA history. He has some of the most highlight reel knockout victories over the top competition in the sport. He currently holds the record for the most most knockout victories in UFC heavyweight history with 12. Hunt is a fan favorite fighter due to his aggressive fighting style and powerful punching power. He has been involved in some of MMA's most memorable heavyweight battles. Hunt is a true warrior who always comes to fight and has never been in a boring fight. He is one of the most entertaining fighters in the sport and always leaves it all in the octagon. Next we have Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje is one of the hardest hitters in MMA history. He finished four of his last five wins by KO via punches, knocking out greats like Cowboy Cerrone, Tony Ferguson, and Edson Barbosa. Gaethje's combinations and ferocious leg kicks are lethal, and he always comes to fight. His exciting style has made him a fan favorite, and he's one of the hardest hitters in MMA history. So let's discuss Israel Adesanya. Israel, the last style bender Adesanya, is a Nigerian-born New Zealand professional mixed martial artist and the current UFC middleweight champion. He's the first African UFC champion. As of November 2019, he is ranked as the number 5 pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the UFC. Adesanya began his professional mixed martial arts MMA career in 2012. He is widely regarded as one of the best strikers in MMA history, with some of the hardest punches in the sport. Adesanya has knockout power in both hands, and his accuracy and timing are second to none. He is also an excellent kickboxer, with lethal kicks that have defeated many many opponents. In addition to his striking prowess, Adesanya is also a highly skilled Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner with a purple belt under Andre Galvao. He has used his grappling skills to transition into submissions and has finished several opponents with rear naked chokes. Adesanya is a true MMA well-rounded fighter who can finish his opponents in any given situation. Next up, George St. Pierre. George St. Pierre is considered one of the greatest MMA fighters of all time. He's a former two-division UFC champion and has defended his title 19 times. He's also one of the hardest hitters in MMA history, with some of the most vicious knockout power in the sport. St. Pierre was an unstoppable force in his prime, winning eight consecutive fights and cementing his legacy as one of the all-time greats. One of the highlights of his career was his knockout victory over Matt Hughes at UFC 65, where he delivered a devastating head kick that sent Hughes crashing to the canvas. St. Pierre's knockout power is undeniable, and he's certainly one of the hardest punchers in MMA history. Next, Quinton Jackson. Quinton Rampage Jackson is a former UFC light heavyweight champion, Pride FC Central Tournament winner, and interim UFC light heavyweight champion. He is known for his powerful punching and knockout ability. In MMA, he has a total of 38 wins, with 20 coming by way of knockout. His notable wins include a first round KO over Chuck Liddell and a first round TKO over Wanderlei Silva. He has also fought and defeated other top names in MMA, such as Leota Machida and Matt Hamill. And and lastly, Jim Miller. Jim Miller is an American mixed martial artist who has competed in the lightweight, welterweight, and middleweight divisions. He is a former interim UFC lightweight champion. He is currently signed to the Professional Fighters League, competing in their lightweight division. As of October 12, 2020, he is ranked number 15 in the UFC lightweight rankings. Miller began his MMA career in 2001. He compiled a 12-2 record before making his UFC debut in 2008. In his first nine UFC fights, Miller went 8-1, with his only loss coming to Gleason Tebow. He then won five straight fights, four of them by submission. This streak led to a title shot against Ben Henderson for the UFC Interim Lightweight Championship at UFC. Henderson won the bout via unanimous decision. He has been fighting in the UFC for over 10 years and is one of the most experienced fighters in the lightweight division. He is a well-rounded fighter with good grappling and striking skills. Miller is a dangerous fighter who is always looking for the finish. Jim Miller is one of MMA's most experienced and toughest fighters. He's a true warrior who has never backed down from a challenge. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below letting us know what you think. We love hearing from you.